You might have seen my video that had five ways to use hand embroidery. Well, today I'm going to share five more projects that are ways to use and display your stitching. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So for many people, their first embroidery project is to do stitching in a hoop and then they finish off this hoop and hang it on the wall. That is a wonderful project, but eventually you're going to run out of wall space. So today I'm going to share five more ways that you can use and enjoy embroidery in your everyday life. The first project idea is household linens. In our daily lives, we use many things that are made out of fabric. And so all of those things are things that can be used for embroidery. Things like towels, placemats, pillowcases, napkins can all have embellishments on them with hand stitching. So historically, Girls would have embroidered items like this and they would have saved them maybe in a hope chest and they would have had a collection of those so that when they were setting up a home, they would have these things ready to use. So today there is not the same societal expectation that you would have those kind of things and that that is what you would focus on when you were young, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad idea. It's still a fun way to use embroidery by stitching on those things that we use every day and we can enjoy. It's also a great way to practice. If you wanna try out some new stitches or new designs, then stitching that on a tea towel takes away some of the pressure for perfection. Even if your stitches aren't as nice as you like them to be, or you're just getting the hang of it, stitching that onto a piece like a towel that's gonna to be used to dry dishes is a good way to do it because you'll still be able to use it. It doesn't matter if it's not quite as good as you would like it to be. And when you've done some practice and then you're more confident, then you could move on and use those same stitches for a piece that's gonna be more prominently displayed as a piece of art. The second way you can use embroidery is in clothing. Clothing is something else that we use every day that is made out of fabric. And embroidery is a great way that you can really personalize your clothing. You can make a one of a kind piece that really showcases your personality. So even a plain shirt is going to look totally different depending on if you embellish it with flowers or animals or words or even bicycles or robots or skeletons. You're really only limited by your imagination. If you sew clothing, then you can actually plan and lay out your embroidery and do the stitching before you assemble the garment. And this can sometimes make it a little bit easier to embroider on the fabric. But even if you don't sew your own clothes, you can still embellish ready-made items. You can either stitch directly onto the clothing or you can stitch onto fabric and then apply that fabric onto your piece of clothing. Embroidery can also be a good way to mend clothing and help extend the use. So if you have a favorite piece of clothing that's starting to get worn in a couple places, then embroidery or adding patches and embroidery can be a good way to extend the life and let you use it for many more years. The third way you can use embroidery is maybe not as common, but you can use embroidery in furniture. Furniture is another item that we use in our everyday lives and we can use embroidery to personalize this. Most commonly, this would be used in conjunction with upholstery. So you can embroider a piece of fabric and then use that to cover a seat on a dining chair or maybe a footstool or maybe a headboard for your bed. But I have even seen embroidery pieces that are set into wooden frames and those are used for the front of doors or drawers on a dresser. Now this is in high-end custom-made furniture, but it was very beautiful to see. Then the fourth way you can use embroidery is with unusually framed pieces. There are a lot of things that are not necessarily made out of fabric, but we can frame fabric and finish it in a way that it can be used. 
So here's an example in this tray, and this is a tray that showcases embroidery. So this embroidery was made many years ago by my grandmother and it was framed so it has a glass surface so it is even water resistant and then the back of it is felt so this is a layer that will protect any furniture that is on and then it does have these handles on the sides so my grandmother made this probably close to 40 years ago but you can still see it's in beautiful condition and it showcases all her hand stitching so you can use framed embroidery for something like that, or you can also use it for things like room dividers or even doors. The limiting factor that I would have for a piece like this is not doing the stitching, but in being able to finish it. But if you have a friend who is a woodworker, then I'm sure you could brainstorm together and come up with lots of great ideas for ways that you can use your embroidery in an unusual way. The first four ideas that I shared were pretty big items, but with embroidery, you can also go really small. So the fifth idea that I have for an embroidery project is jewelry. Now you can purchase small frames like these that are designed to be able to mount a little piece of embroidery or something else in it. And so you can use these as brooches, you can use these as necklaces, and I even have some tiny ones that are just the right size for earrings. So you can get these as just the frames, or you can order kits that use embroidery. And I have this necklace, and this was a kit that I got from Kariki Press, who is a great Canadian designer. And this came with everything in it. It came with this little printed piece that I stitched, and then it even had this wooden frame that I was able to easily mount it in, and it came with a chain. So this kit had everything that I needed. And this little necklace, whenever I wear it, a lot of times people take a double look at it because they're not sure is that actually stitched or is it just printed to look like it's stitched. Um, and so I really enjoy uh, wearing this. I wear it pretty often, uh, but don't overlook jewelry as a way to showcase your embroidery skills. So if you wanna do a hand embroidery project and you wanna do more than just make a hoop to hang on the wall, then there are many, many different things you can do. Use your creativity and your imagination because that's what embroidery is all about. So what's the most unusual embroidery piece that you've ever seen? I would love to hear about it. So put something in the comments or send me a message and I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. For embroidery tutorials and inspiration, you can check out my website, ebitastudio.com.